I promise you, this will be the best chicken stuffed baked potato recipe you'll ever taste it. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to another recipe. Today I'm showing you guys how to make this super delicious baked potato recipe. Before I begin, please take a moment to subscribe if you're new here. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed today's recipe and let's jump right into the recipe. Okay guys, let's begin. Before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know I'm a little bit under the weather. If I sound a little bit different, that is why. I'm using two russet potatoes. I went ahead and washed and scrubbed them really well. Once I was done, wiped them down. Now I'm using a fork to prick some holes on there to allow the heat to come out. And then I am going to drizzle some olive oil make sure it's well coated with the olive oil also i am going to be adding some sea salt on there as well very heavy with the salt once done i am going to use a foil just wrap them up just like so Once we have the potatoes nice and wrapped up, we're going to place them to this pizza pan here or any baking dish and place it in a 400 degree oven for one hour. Next, I'm going to be working on the chicken. I'm using chicken breast for this recipe. Chicken thighs can be used as well. I am going to slice it right in the middle. Then I am going to dice it into bite-sized pieces. All right, now that I have the chicken nice and diced up, I am going to add some olive oil on there, then we're going to season. I wish I cut them smaller, by the way, if you want, just cut them smaller, it's better. Okay, it's gonna sit perfect on top of the um, potatoes. So I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on there, make sure the chicken is nice and well coated with the oil. Then we're going to use these seasoning right here. I'm using complete seasoning, ranch, the dry ranch seasoning mix, paprika, chili powder, as well as some dry parsley. Mix that up together. We're going to use not all, but we're going to leave about a teaspoon of that seasoning for later. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to season the chicken now and save some of the seasoning for later. I'll show you guys what to do with it after okay so I'm going to season the chicken very nicely once I'm done seasoning the chicken I am going to set it aside right when my potatoes about to be ready that's when I'm going to cook the chicken okay you want the chicken to marinate while your potatoes in the oven so now it's time to cook the chicken to a medium high heat skillet, I am going to drizzle about two tablespoons of olive oil. Once that is nice and hot, I am going to place the chicken in there. Cook your chicken for about two minutes per side or until, until they're nice and golden brown because we're going to place this in the oven as well. You don't want to overcook the chicken breast, okay? All right, my chicken is nice and done, and it's looking juicy, okay? It's looking absolutely juicy. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to transfer it to a bowl, set it aside, 
Moving on, in the same skillet we were using for the chicken, you are going to add some sweet bell peppers, any color of your choice. Also, I am going to be adding some diced onion in there. We're going to cook that until all of the veggies are nice and translucent. A few moments after, I am going to add my minced garlic. And when I tell you I love the smell of garlic, when I'm cooking it, it just makes me feel like I'm cooking something that is so, so tasty. It's just the smell, okay? So we're going to cook that for about 30 seconds. Right after, I am going to add about one cup of heavy cream. Stir that in just like that. That. This is when you add the remaining of the seasoning. Add it to your sauce, give it a nice stir, and of course, make sure you taste it. If you need more salt or pepper, you can, but at this point, I didn't have to add anything else. Right after, I'm going to add some um, cheese. I'm using four Mexican cheese. However, you can use mozzarella, pepper jack, whatever cheese that you do like. Give that a stir, it should look something like this. As you can see, the heat is pretty low. Allow it to simmer for about a minute or two. Then it's basically done, remove, set aside. Now, my potatoes are nice and ready. This is about one hour and 30 minutes, by the way. It took a little longer, but that's okay. I am going to remove the wrapping paper and discard that. Now I'm going to use a knife to cut the top portion of it you can cut your potatoes however you like but this way i find it more um like a bowl to just for the potatoes to just sit in so i am going to scoop out the potatoes inside oh this was so hot it was too hot i don't know why i was holding this thing with my bare fingers but okay Now we have the flesh of the potatoes into a bowl, just like so. I am going to make a lemon pepper butter, okay? So I melted about two tablespoons of butter, unsalted. Then I added half tablespoon of lemon pepper in there. Give that a quick stir. This is going to be so good. And then we are going to pour that to our potatoes. I'm going to basically make like a mashed potato, but not really, okay? Flavorful. So I'm going to pour that in, add some cheese, and of course, some more heavy cream. And I'm using a hand mixer to mix this. However, you don't have to. You can just use your potato masher for this. I'm going to mix, 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 just like so. Give it a taste, by the way. If you need to add some more salt, you can always taste your food. That's one thing. Always taste everything you make. If you don't taste it as you go, how would you know? How would you know if it tastes good? Okay? So now I'm going to grab that potato and place it back into the potato shell. I think that's how you call it. And then you are going to grab that chicken, that saucy looking chicken. Place it on top. This is why I told you, you need to dice your chicken smaller. I wish I did. I wish I did. But at the same time, a little bit bigger. Keep the chicken juicy too. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to place that saucy sauce, that creamy saucy sauce on top. And then we're going to add some cheese. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Add the cheese. And I'm going to do the other one now.
Now, if I serve you this at a restaurant, how much would you pay for this? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm going to sprinkle some more cheese on there, add some dry parsley, bake it again on 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is how we're looking like. Oh my gosh. You guys, this was one of the best loaded baked potatoes that I've ever tasted. It tastes so, so good. It's giving Southern style. The sweet peppers, the chicken tasted so amazing. This is definitely 10 out of 10 in my book that I will make it again, okay? Hope you enjoy. Let me know down below how do you feel about this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.